can't continue to allow China to rape our country, and that's what they're doing. Explain to us how you think about the U.S.-China relationship, given some of the comments that Donald Trump has made about China being a currency manipulator. Did that, did that come up during your meeting? Well, I think first, in America, there's a freedom of speech, right? So he can say whatever he wants, and I respect, I understand. But of course, I have my views. We did not uh, the debate about the China, U.S. trade or, or manipulation. We did not debate. Uh, actually, we agreed on something. Small business, developing the Midwest America, helping the farmers there, small business there, the exporting to China. So we all agreed. But something that we did not discuss about the, you know, the American the, the job losing to China, Mexico, and this. I think 30 years ago, when I just graduated from universities, I heard America had a wonderful strategy. They outsource the manufactured job, service jobs. They outsource the manufacturer to Mexico and China. Outsource the service job to, to India. There's a book called The World is Flat. Tom right? Friedman, yeah. colleague at the New York Times. And I think it's a perfect strategy. You know that they, the Americans said, oh, we just want to control the IP, we just want to technology, we just want to brand and leave the, the, the lower end of jobs for the world. Great strategy. Past 30 years, the American had 13 wars, spending $14.2 trillion. The money going there. What if they spend a part of that money on building up the infrastructure? helping the white collars and blue collars. No matter how strategic good it is, you're supposed to spend money on your own people. Not everybody can pass Harvard. Like me, we may not good at education, right? We should spend money on those people who are not good at schooling. And the other money which I'm curious about is that when I was young, I heard America is bad, Ford, Ford, and Boeing, those big manufacturing companies. The last 10, 20 years, I heard about is Silicon Valley and Wall Street. The money go to the Wall Street. And what happened? Year 2008. The financial crisis wiped out $19.2 trillion U.S. alone. They wiped out all the white collars and destroyed 34 million jobs globally. So what if the money, it's not Wall Street, what if the money spent on the middle web of the United States? Developing the industry there, that could be changed a lot. So it's not the other countries steal jobs from you guys. It is your strategy. Okay, but, but you do not distribute the money and things in a proper way.